This is the Chromatic Sequencer. It's a Max for Life MIDI device that creates a random sequence quantized to the notes and rhythm you select. It's random but tunable in a sense. Today I want to show you how you can use clips to automate the tuning of the sequencer so it can track along with the chord progression. Before I dive in, the Chromatic Sequencer has three sections, pitch, rhythm, and randomness. Pitch is controlled by selecting the pitches you want to play simply by turning the notes on and off. You can also specify the octave and range using these two controls. Rhythm is controlled by the subdivision. If you want to randomly play eighth notes, just select the eighth note subdivision. And the randomness is controlled by the probability. The probability control determines how often a note will be played. 100 is 100% of the time, 50 is half the time, and so on. You can also add some additional randomness using the built-in LFO to modulate the velocity and duration of the notes. Okay, so you can select the notes you want to play, but what if you're following a chord progression and you want the tuning of the sequencer to follow the chord progression? Easy. Let me show you how you would do this. Alright, so here I have my Ableton project. I've got drums, bass, and I'm using two felt instruments, virtual instruments, that sound fantastic. I'm using the Jazz Note and the Leco. If you haven't tried the products, definitely check them out. Here's the chord progression that I'm working with. And I'm doubling that on the Jazz Note. And I've got some bass and drums to help fill it out. Alright, sounds great, but to be honest, as it loops around a few times, it gets a little stale. I want to add something that, that is a little bit random and add some uh, life and texture to it. So here, I'm using Mutable Instruments Rings, and I'm going to be driving that using the Chromatic Sequencer. So to start, I'll choose a few random notes that I know are somewhat inside the key. Sounds good. But what I'd really like to do is have it follow along with the chord progression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these notes off, and I'm going to copy the chord progression that I used on the on the leco here. I'm going to copy it into the rings, and I'm going to hit play. And now the chromatic sequencer is going to actually play the notes of the clip. That is, the clip is actually turning on and off the notes for the sequencer, and then driving rings. It ends up acting sort of like a random arpeggiator creates a series of notes that sound almost lifelike, as if someone's playing an instrument behind you. It's perfect for creating a break if you want to add some uh, relief in the song. And that's it. The Chromatic Sequencer is a free Max for Live device, available for download in the link in the description. If you like this video, be sure to click subscribe and check out some of the other videos I have on Max for Live devices. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy.